Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Destiny video and another Friday Zer video. Now, apologies that there was not a weekly reset video this week. Division came out on Tuesday, so it's been a really busy week for me, so I apologize for that. But I will be back to normal next week. There will be a weekly reset video. There will, of course, be Zer videos. And if you guys are Monster Hunter fans, there will, of course, also be your Monster Hunter video next week as well. So apologies for that, but... You guys are here to see Zur, so let's get started. You can find him right behind me in the bar down at the bottom of the tower. And let's take a look at what he's got for sale. Of course, if you guys do enjoy this video and you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated. And comment down below and let me know if you did actually pick anything up. I appreciate it generally doesn't have anything for you these days, but maybe you're new to Destiny, maybe you're picking things up. So still, if you do get anything, definitely let me know. But this week he has got for the Titans an insurmountable skull fort. The main perk on this gives you an additional melee charge, plus you also gain bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of the darkness, and you also gain bonus melee energy on all pickups. Now the stat roll on this one this week is 48 discipline and 51 strength when maxed, and when comparing that to the min max values, the lowest you'll ever see this is with 35 discipline and 35 strength, and the highest is 60 discipline and 90 strength. So on the discipline side of things it's actually pretty high, but on the strength side of things it's still around the kind of middle region. Then moving over to Hunters, you have the Acleophyre Symbiote, one of the best Hunter helmets in the game. I know if you guys have been playing Destiny for a long time, you will already know this, but if you are new to Destiny and you're a Hunter, this is one of the best exotics for you. The main perk is that it gives the Golden Gun one additional shot, meaning that instead of three bullets, you have four. So if you play Crucible, that is one additional kill. And if you're playing PvE, that's also one more enemy or one more shot of damage to a boss. Regardless, it is a very good exotic. And if you don't have it, definitely check it out. Of course, it's for gunslingers only, but either way, it's definitely worth your time. On top of that, you get more super energy from non-guardian kills and you get bonus grenade energy on all pickups. The stat roll on this one is 50 intellect and 47 discipline when maxed. And again, comparing that to the min max values, the lowest you'll ever see this is with 35 intellect and 35 discipline. And the highest is 95 intellect and 60 discipline. So again, on the intellect side of things, around the middle region and the discipline is slightly higher. Moving over to the Warlocks, you have the Heart of Praxic Fire. The main perk on this is that when Radiance is active, you get increased agility and decreased ability cooldowns. On top of that, it increases the amount of hand cannon ammunition you can carry and it reduces incoming void burn damage. This has a flat 101 discipline roll this week. And again, comparing that to the min max values, the lowest you'll ever see this is with 46 discipline and the highest is 124. So this is most definitely at the higher end of the spectrum, but it's again still not the highest. Moving on from there, this week you have an exotic helmet engram, not to be confused with the one to the right, despite the fact that they look the same. This one is of course a year 2 engram and will have a chance at yielding year 2 items. If you guys are new to Destiny, I have seen this in the comments a couple of times, do bear in mind engrams won't always give you items for your class, so if you're a titan looking for a titan helmet, you could still get a warlock helmet, but this one here is your source of year 2 items, so if you need something to improve your character, buy this one here. Do not confuse it with the one over here, which is a Legacy Engram, and this is just for picking up items that you might have missed in Year 1. They won't have the Year 2 stats, and they won't necessarily be useful to you, so unless you're trying to complete your collection, I would steer clear of this one. Then finally, moving over to the bottom section, Curios, you have Plasma Drive, Void Drive, Heavy Ammo Synth, 3 of Coins, Glass Needles, and of course your Material Exchange, 1 Mote of Light for 2 Strange Coins. And that's it. That is everything you need to know about Zoo this week. That's where you can find him what he's got for sale and whether or not those items are worth purchasing. So if you guys did enjoy the video, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below again, let me know if you picked anything up. And also I appreciate if you guys are watching this video, then you are probably Destiny fans, but let me know if you guys have been watching say the Division videos recently. It'd be really cool just to sort of see how many of you guys are like jumping between games. But either way, let me know down below. But thanks for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.